hospitals. So let's help the people who are struggling right now, those who fell behind their rent during the pandemic. We're adding $391 million in additional funding for expanding the emergency rental assistance program. The following is the full announcement by New York City's Governor Herschel concerning public housing. We have a crisis for far too many New Yorkers. Affordable housing, the rent, the mortgage is out of reach. It's, and we've simply not kept up with demand. And that drives up costs, basic supply and demand, and it prices out middle and low income families from the dream of home ownership. That's why I proposed a bold housing plan. And I believe major action is required to meet the scale of this crisis. The legislature saw it differently. They're not ready to commit to the kind of transformative change I proposed. And I know change can be hard, but we're not walking away from this issue. And I won't stop working hard and fighting until we make housing more affordable for New Yorkers. So I've talked to the leaders. I've committed to working with them. We're together in our desire to do whatever we can to ensure that we've done all we can to increase the supply of housing in the state of New York. I also believe there's more we can do by executive action, which will be unfolding uh, publicly in the next few weeks. But one thing I do know, when you look at comparing us to other states that have made the tough decisions and have made a difference, didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen in three months. In many cases, it took decades. But I'm impatient. We started the discussion. We started the conversation. And people know that I'm a fighter and I'm going to continue working with anyone who will roll up their sleeves and help us change the trajectory that our state on, is on right now, which is that we do not have enough housing for New Yorkers. So we we'll work with advocates, legislators, and I know we can do that here and overcome all obstacles. So let's help the people who are struggling right now, those who fell behind their rent during the pandemic. We're adding $391 million in additional funding for expanding the emergency rental assistance program to make rent relief available for people living in public and subsidized housing. They were left out of the earlier programs based on earlier formulas. We're also focused on helping low-income families, homeowners stay in their homes with $50 million to help them with the cost of home repairs. We're proud of creating a nation-leading program as well to get let out of kids' homes. And this has been a real driver of disparate outcomes in children's mental health, their academic ability. And that's why it's so important that we reduce lead poisoning in our homes across the state. It's time to do something about it. It's way overdue. So the state's going to ensure that all rental units before 18, 1980 are inspected for lead every three years. And property owners who don't get rid of this, get rid of the lead, will lose their certificate of occupancy. It's that simple.